Welcome to tutorial number 171. In this tutorial, we will talk about the next command in the sheet metal menu, insert bins. And opposite to this command, the no bins. And see how to use them. Also, we will compare it to the rib in the previous example. Then we'll go and have a look at the insert bins parameters. Use the no bins after that and see one of the advantages of using insert bins by making an example and unfolding it and compare it to the unfold command. First, let's talk about the example from the previous tutorial, 170, where we used the rib command. So as you notice, we made the ribs over there. There maybe that is not the most perfect chip then that will be the work of the next command insert bins because the insert bins will take the ribs one step forward so let's start a new part and make a similar example so it will be easier to compare pick to plan select hexagonal and give it a dimension. Extruded fifty with twenty five draft outward angle. Click OK. And chill it with a thickness of one millimeter. Click OK. So now we have a similar shape. Go to sheet metal, insert bends, and here we will ask you about a base face. So you can imagine this is a base flange or base face. Select it and you will get similar options to the base flange options you will get a bin parameter let's make it two millimeter and here you have a thickness we already made a thickness and bin allowance we already talked about them auto relief we can make it rectangular we also talked about it and here is the rib parameters. So here you will make again ribs similar to what we did in the previous tutorial. And you will see and we will see the difference between rib and insert pins. Select the edges. Here you can change the direction, make it two. Directions instead of one, here we selected the edges to be repaired and the gap distance. Let's make it this time point five. Click OK. Click OK again. And here you will notice you made a modified rib than in the previous tutorial. So we get the auto relief. We have the bend radius. Also, we have the cap. So actually the insert bends in the beginning is a rib feature. If you look at the tree over there, we have a rib and our, there are two more steps after the rib, flatten bends and process bends. So these 
processes made the part to be sheet metal part. Here you can also change the relief type. You can find it in the sheet metal properties. You can change it to a brown or we can make it clear. So it depends on which type you need. And if you notice on the sheet metal menu, you have the no band commands is activated. And the insert bands is not activated for now because we already have bins. So before using the no bins, I would like to talk more about the two options over there on the insert bins tree. First, we have drip. If you pick it, drip, we already talked about this feature in the previous tutorial. It is already included in the insert bins. You have the edges and you have the gap distance and the directions and also you can add a sketch more sketch to that and now let's scroll forward to the next option this option will flatten the part then process bend it will bend it again So as you saw that we have the flatten and bend again on the tree, but you can do the same process by clicking on no bends. If you click on no bends, it will show you the part without any bends or any bend allowance. It will be just similar to the rib, the previous strip. And if you uncheck the no bends, you have the bends again over there. And when you check the no bends, you will see the insert bends is activated again. It will allow you to insert more bends if needed. And also you can use the flatten option for that part and you will get the part flattened as you see so this part maybe is not that complicated geometry but the rib and insert bends can come handy for more complicated shapes which can be difficult to be done by the base flange and tab we will make an example to see how we can use insert bands and see one advantage of using insert bands. Start a new part and let's make a pipe. Pick the front plane, draw a center line, and draw another line over there. Let's define it. 250 go to feature evolve click yes ok so use the thin feature make a thickness of 1 and revolve it 1 degree less to make a welding gap click ok so we have this simple pipe. Now we can flatten this pipe with insert bend. Put sheet metal, insert bend, just select that edge, click OK, flatten. You will see you are now flatten this pipe. So the point here, the part which we made is made by a solid feature by the revolve force and we could 
use this solid feature to convert it into a sheet metal with insert pen. If we roll over there, you will see the unfold command is not activated. We used the unfold feature in one of the previous tutorial. You can go back to that tutorial and try to compare it to the insert pen. So you will notice here that the unfold is not activated. Start a new part on the top lane. Normal tool, let's make another pipe. Quickly, we have a circle with an opening. Exit, go to sheet metal. And here you have the base flange, and the sheet metal is not activated. Roll forward, the cursor. Pick this flange and select that edge. Click OK. So here we have a pipe made by this flange sheet metal. If you go to the unfold and pick that edge and select the body, OK. Now you have the pipe flattened. To unflatten or to fold the pipe, you can suppress the fold or the unfold command, or you can add another fold to it. Let's just unsuppress, add a fold. The edge is selected already over there, and then to fold, select this. Part. Click OK. So this is the fold unfold method. And the first pipe is made by the insert bends. If you would like to flatten the first pipe, you can, as we said there, you can, as we said, suppress over there. And you will get the first pipe. Flatten. Click on suppress. So there are two approaches, but we said the insert bend took the advantage of using solid feature. So, for example, the first part can be a more complicated shape that is not easy to make it by a base flange command and then you can add the insert bend to it and bend it.